Good afternoon and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Focus active walk around video. But before we get stuck in with the walk around, if you want to stay in tune with all of our latest content, then click on that subscribe button. This here is a beautiful frozen white Ford Focus active featuring the 1 litre EcoBoost engine producing 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is then transmitted through the front wheels through a 6 speed manual gearbox. We are registered on a 72 registration, meaning we're taking Ford warranty all the way to October 2025. We've done just over 12,000 miles, but like always, I'll get you the exact number once you're on the dash in a moment. So let's go position ourselves at the near side front bumper where we start all of these walk around videos. First thing, remote central locking key in all of its beauty. Give you a good look at that. Next up, clicking the unlock button is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. Daytime running lamps give other road users the ultimate visibility, so you're always going to be seen on the road. Whether it's the dullest of winter's day or the brightest of summer's day, it's still going to be perfectly visible. And no, that's not because they are flashing. They're only flashing because the frequency in which my camera records that. But we'll, we'll come to that again later. So flashing lights, they're not really flashing. They're a solid LED pattern, which is going to make sure you're always going to be seen. Inside those headlights are the Ford LED headlights. There, looks so you've got some fantastic headlights. Now, moving away down the bumper, we have front parking sensors, which start all the way around the edge of the bumper there. That is because we have the Ford Park Assist on this vehicle. So this will quite literally park itself for you. Moving around the front bumper, just underneath the number plate there, that dully black bit there, that's a front-facing radar responsible for some of the driver assistance pack such as pre-collision assist. I'll cover the entirety of the driver assistance pack once we're inside the vehicle, don't you worry. Now on to these beautiful 17 inch machine cut alloy wheels, so they give you the silver shiny front with the shadow black just behind. Silver painted brake calipers and the tyres fitted to this one are the Continental Eco Contact 6s. And whilst we have a tyre ajar, I'll just show you down the cross pattern there, got some good tread remaining on there. It's going to back up uh, to the windscreen to show you a few sensors. That is a light sensor for the automated lights. So as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, your lights will come on automatically. Further north at the top of the windscreen there is a traffic speed sign recognition camera. This can be used in a coordination with the intelligent speed limiter. In addition to the right hand side is a, a rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers. Bring you, bring you back down to the body of the vehicle. Lock the vehicle on the key take you to half zoom to demonstrate a bit of keyless entry. So you have the five lines on the door handle there so simply tapping behind the door handle will unlock the vehicle and tap once again on the door handle locks the vehicle. Please note we also have power folding and heated door mirrors. Keyless entry has a safety system so if you don't open a door within the next 20 seconds or so it will lock itself once again. Before we go past them, it's always important to note we have black painted roof rails. So there's a little two-way colour scheme going on in this beautiful Focus Active. So we have the blackish wheels, the rear privacy glass and the black roof rails. It's a very pretty combination, just delicious. Now the offside rear of the vehicle. This is a stage where I get nice and tight to the body. And just gently rock the camera side to side. Hopefully giving you a good understanding of how beautiful these body panels are. It's a bit darker this side. Hopefully it still gives you a good understanding for whatever you might be watching this video. There you go. See the flash there. It's locked itself once again. Back round now to the offside rear. Giving you a good look at that. Again, another Continental Eco Contact 6 tyre. And once again, the parking sensors start all the way around the back of the bumper. And they trail all along that bottom lip. So zoom out and give you a good shot of the rear there. Uh, the parking sensors are complemented just beautifully with the wide spectrum high definition reversing camera. Before we look inside, I'm just going to give the near side the exact same treatment. So again, starting nice and tight to the body of the vehicle, gently rocking that camera down the near side, like so. I'm not forgetting the near side rear, and we can follow that all the way to the near side front, giving you a good look at that. Again, whilst it's a jar, I might as well just show you down the cross section of the tyre. 
unfortunately we do get a few stones in the tyres around here for obvious reasons. So that's the exterior taken care of, now let's have a look inside the rear. We have the double unlock function on the key or the pressure pad just left of the camera. Now we can see the very generously volumed rear boot space inside this Focus. Whether it's suitcases are plenty, a couple of medium to larger dogs in there, not a problem. You're going to get um, like a quite a young gorilla, I reckon. So if you were to go to Colchester Zoo and uh, borrow their gorilla, I reckon it's going to be a squeeze, but I think you'll get it in the back there. But please don't go to Colchester Zoo asking for their animals. I've had this many a time now. I use them as a reference. Underneath the boot liner there is a space saver spare wheel. And this will uh, hopefully get you out of any pickles and don't want to ruin your day. So here is a space saver spare with all the relevant tools and jacks required underneath there to change it on the side of the road. Those of you who are interested, that is 16 inches in diameter. Beautiful, that's the rear boot. And again, I'm a fisherman in my spare time for my many sins. I also drive a Ford Focus. And if that applies to you also, you can easily get all of your luggage with your rods through lengthways, not a problem. Your barrow, your bed chair gets in there just easily. It's a good fishing vehicle, I must add. I must add that, it's a good fishing vehicle. Hey, hey. Right, ah, so keyless entry has locked the doors, so I need to unlock it, and then we can get inside there. So starting on the door cards, we have a hard wearing plastic door cards. If you do carry children, they're nice and easy to wipe clean afterwards. Leading down into a cloth armrest, then into the corresponding window switch for the offside rear window. Spinning the camera around for the first time, I'm just gonna show you the rear seats there. So this follows the beautiful active patterns. We have a, a charcoal cloth with a lighter gray in the middle with the active emblem in the middle and on the base. For those smaller humans of this world, you may require an ISO fixing seat, so you have one on the offside rear and another again on the near side rear. And then again, the Focus boasts some really lovely rear space there. You could easily get a full car in here, not a problem. At the bottom there is a 12 volt socket, perfect for charging. You can easily get a USB adapter in there and uh, charge up all your devices, not a problem. Onwards now, let's just have a quick mention about this little clever design. As part of the parking pack, that comes with the door edge guard. So as you open and shut the door, like so, then that protects the edge of your door from potential damage elsewhere. Now looking at the door cards themselves, again on the driver's door we have this lovely leather leading into your cloth armrest, into all four window switches with your folding mirrors, rear window locking, interior lock and mirror adjustment in the middle. Spinning it around now to look at the driver and passenger seats, so a lovely dark charcoal leading into a lighter grey into the active pattern. Bolstered support around the lower back and the base part of the seat. Manually adjustable, so we have a rear tilt, a height. The lumbar support is done on that conventional dial there, and forward and backwards is on the rail underneath. I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle. You may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone, so please just bear with me for a moment. Marvellous. So, the first port of call is the mileage. So I said it's done just over 12, which is 12,081.5. So to complement the keyless entry, we have the engine start-stop button down here. Foot on the clutch, one click on the button, and that will gain us power. So to begin, I'm going to give you a quick tour around the, uh, the dashboard ahead of us. Left-hand side is the tachometer, so the RPM gauge, which counts the revolutions of the crankshaft times 1,000, also known as the output power of the engine. At the bottom there, a coolant temperature sensor followed by a fuel gauge, and to the right-hand side, an analog speedo with miles per hour around the outside and kilometers an hour in the middle. That red light at the bottom is a hand, uh, handbrake warning sign, and also... In the middle, we have that digital driver display. I'm going to be controlling that using the arrows, such as the return, OK, up and down, and menu button on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. So, to begin, this is a trip computer. So, for an idea of how good these are on fuel, the last 2,077 miles, this has been averaging 52.4 miles to the gallon. So, some very good MPG. 
coming down into my view where you can customize what you'd like to see whether it's a digital speedometer we have a fuel economy eco coach calm screen so again you can just dictate what you'd like to see on your my view page driver assistance then I'll cover this a bit more detail once we're on the sync module but this is predominantly where you'll see all of the cruise control appear so your set speed at the bottom uh, we also set that to your limiter there as well and you can set your limiter to intelligent the traffic speed signs are displayed at the bottom right hand side of the screen top right we have the ambient air temperature and yeah so lots of goodies on this screen and then leading into navigation your audio phone connectivity and information at the bottom there where you can see your seatbelt warnings auto stop start local hazard information and goodies such as that I'm just going to slide my chair back slightly, otherwise you're just going to see all knees for the next part, and we don't want that. So again, we've covered the right-hand side, which also includes a voice control. We have a pickup, decline, and previous and next song function. The left-hand side is where the buttons are found for the cruise control. So cancel is the left-hand side, set speed plus and minus in the middle. Stand by top right with your speed limiter just below. At the bottom of that cluster is a volume minus, a volume plus, and a mute button. So, progressing now, always got to show this part. Nice little cubby hole in here. Nice little tray that goes in as well. This is where your sweets are kept. I don't have any arguments about that. That's that. Underneath this cover here is which, one of my favorite points in a vehicle. Why would you buy a car without cup holders? This is a fantastic design. Ah, you have a can, clamp it in. Ah, you have a big bottle, clamp that in. Oh, you have two drinks, three drinks, four drinks anything you like as you can see you can adjust and clamp in accordingly i have this in my vehicle and uh, i know it sounds sad but it's one of my favorite points love that it's a great design auto hold so temporary handbrake and electronic handbrake is featured there push down to cancel pull up to apply although when you put it into gear and you go to set off that'll automatically cancel but you do have to manually apply it once again next up is the six speed manual gearbox so beautiful construction flies through the box it's lovely the one liter eco boost is a fantastic engine you get the power nice and early in the power band and uh, that's why they give you the sixth gear because they rev slightly higher um, so you put it into the sixth gear lowers the revs increases your fuel economy to the left hand side we have the button there for the ford park assist i shall come back to that in a moment this button will turn off the automated stop start this is for selectable drive modes so i'll come back to that and this is for the parking sensors override turn off this mode button, if you look back onto the screen ahead of you, we have selectable drive mode, such as eco, we have a sport mode, a slippery, and also a trail at the end there as well. So whatever mode you put it into for the relevant driving at hand. Obviously eco, with a bit more of an economical drive, which is fantastic for the birds and the trees and everything in between. I'll come back to that in a second. Down here, down here is a USB-C, a USB-A, and also a 12 volt socket. This is perfect for all your charging requirements. Leading up to this panel, which is for the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. This vehicle, as you can tell, has the dual climate control. So both sides of the cabin can be set to individual temperatures. So if you did suffer with a really cold passenger, you can keep them warm whilst keeping yourself nice and cool. The winter pack also features on this vehicle, so winter and parking pack. So that's heat, two heated front seats and a heated steering wheel. So perfect for those that suffer with cold fingers and cold bums. Let's turn those all off before I start melting. Next up is the electronic heated window screen there. So this will defrost or demiss your screen nice and quickly. Fan speed is found in the middle and you get the little LED chart there as well to let you know how much power it's on. Left hand side is a different demiss functions, different flows events are found in the middle with recirculation and air conditioning found to the right hand side. Moving on up now, we have the beautiful SYNC 3.4 module. We know it's the SYNC 3.4 because we have the dark blue band at the bottom. First tile is audio, this is your radio, where you have various sources such as FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio. Next up is phone, this is where you can add your phone via Bluetooth connectivity. In the middle is navigation. I think this is a fantastic navigation system. I use it all the time on my vehicle. But if you'd like to come to Perkins to look at this focus and you want a quick demonstration, you need to click the search box. Once the keyboard is loaded, you shall need Charlie Mike 77 6 Sarah Alpha. Click the search box, that will speak to the GPSs in the sky and navigate your route straight here to Perkins in no time at all. And don't forget, you can set that as a favorite as well if you want to come in and see me for a coffee. Next up, let's take you to settings, driver assistance. So this is the driver assistance pack included on this vehicle. 
So we have a speed limiter at the top, which can be set to intelligent. And we have the uh, lane keeping system there as well, pre-collision assist, traffic speed sign recognition. We have rear view camera, hill start assist, and traction control. Next up into vehicle, we have some different vehicle settings you can adjust for yourself. Windows, I like this feature. This is lovely, global open and global close. In the summer months, if it's really hot outside and you're approaching a vehicle, simply hold down the unlock button and it will drop all the windows, letting a bit of fresh air into the car before you get there. Same works with the lock button, hold the lock button and it will close all the windows once again. Big fan of that. Uh, next up, wipers, this is your rain sensing wipers. Uh, mirrors, it's going to be your auto folding mirrors there as well. So lots of automation on board. Back to your home page like so. Uh, we've covered that, so let's just pop it into reverse and that'll wake up the reversing camera. So this is a part pilot system if you like. So as you turn the steering wheel, you'll get the different lines navigating you into those tighter spaces. Top right hand side of the screen is where you see the proximity sensors for the front and rear parking sensors. This will give you an intermittent beep that increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question. You'll also get a nice little color band around that also. Whilst we're on the topic of parking, if I just push the park assistance button, this is the uh, the, the, the home page, what's it called? This is the full park assist. Anyway, lost my words there. Full park assist will give you a parallel park out, a perpendicular bay park in, and also a parallel park in as well. So like it suggests, use the indicators to dictate which side of the road you require parking on. And once it's found the space, simply follow the instructions on the screen. Very nice bit of spec indeed. Uh, so that is the screen. And the last thing I wanted to show you, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So we have two amazing bits of software there, CarPlay software. So whatever phone you have, whether it's an Android device or an Apple device, plug it in using the USB port that I previously showed you, and it'll mirror your phone onto this screen. From there, you can take advantage of a lot of applications on your phone, such as your Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, you've got your podcasts, audio books, different music, Apple Music, Spotify, and SoundCloud, all compatible on the screen. But the most important one for me is voice control. That voice control button on the right hand side of the steering wheel, click on that, that will wake up your voice assistant, such as Siri or Google Assistant. From there, you can ask it to do a whole range of tasks, whether it's make phone calls, send audible text messages, set navigation, what's the weather like tomorrow, and everything in between. But it keeps your hands off your phone, but you're still able to use some of the features on it. So that is about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did find it useful, please like and subscribe. And if it's so nice to say, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you again real soon.